Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessie and this is Which Way 101. First of all, I don't have the rights to the music in the background. I just, I absolutely adore the beat. I forgot to say that in my last video. I'm so, so sorry about that. Um, I, I put it in the description though, but I don't know if that was quite enough. Anyways, moving on. So we're going to be talking about stones. Um, real quick though, before I get into that, I'm going to go ahead and link up every single thing that as far as I can for social media and stuff down below in the description, all the way down to Patreon. Okay. So check that out. Um, there's all sorts of other content that I don't, I'm obviously not able to post on YouTube and whatnot. Um, so like I said, check it out. You, see what it's about. Um, there's, there's all sorts of stones on there that I won't be talking about in this video. There's all sorts of stuff in there that you can find out that, you know, will further enhance your education. Um, so I wanted to bring up stones because everybody keeps on telling me and talking to me and asking me this one question, Jesse, what are the basic stones that you would get into? What would you have as a starting witchcraft, paganism, Wicca, anything like that. So these stones are basic stones and they're all relatively cheap to buy. Okay. But the properties that they have and the, um, the benefits that they carry are really, really, really good. Okay. So I feel that these four basic stones are a must have in every single witches, witchcraft practitioner, pagans, uh, even spiritualists, and even just crystal lovers in general. I feel that these stones are some of the best stones to have. Okay. Um, and we've touched up a little bit about stones before, but we're going to go a little bit more in depth. Okay. So the first stone that I always recommend getting is clear quartz. Now, these are two different chunks of clear quartz. And as you can see, they've both been worked on and they've both had different stuff done to them, but overall they still have some sort of raw on them. And they, they were both gifted to me and I, I love the vibrations coming from them. They're just, the energy coming from them is amazing. I love it. It's just pure. It's beautiful. It magnifies and amplifies whatever energy a person is actually trying to do or get into. Um, it's great for healing. It's supposed to help for the, the head chakra. I'm not 100% positive. I actually really haven't studied the, the chakras myself. If you know anything about that, please do let me know down in the comments below. Um, it's one of the things that I actually do need to study to be honest. Um, but anyway, so quartz comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes and it's good for all sorts of stuff. So as I just said, it's good for amplifying, um, your, your, uh, manifestations It's good for amplifying your intent. So say that you don't have, um, citrine because you're trying to promote something that citrine has to deal with. Citrine is actually really good for happiness and, and, uh, it's anyways, it's good for a lot of stuff. Um, so anyways, you could go ahead and use quartz and it'll go ahead and help with those same intentions. Okay. So I'm not saying that it's a good idea to substitute this for every single stone, but in my experience, it's definitely one of those stones that you can go ahead and be very versatile about. It's, it's, it can be a substitute stone if you need it to be. Um, if you do not have the stone that you need, um, simply because it reflects the intentions that the caster is, is portraying and whatnot. So that's why I say that. Um, and as you can see, they come in just all sorts of different shapes and sizes. This one's good for a pendant, you know, um, this one right here is just really, really raw. Um, but they have really great healing properties. And the thing is, is that, um, when it comes to energy and when it comes to energy work and, and stuff like that, it's, it's definitely really important to go ahead and, um, have your intentions clear on what you're doing and, and how you're going to go about doing that because you don't want to go ahead and sit there and do the, the wrong thing. You know what I mean? You don't want to sit there and say, okay, well, th this is kind of what I want, but I'm not sure. Um, I think this is it. Um, that's, that's not really what you want to do because the, the fact of the matter is, is that what you put out will come back to you. So this is also a good stone to help with negativity as well. So it'll help with 
if you're having any negative doubts or thoughts or whatever, this is one of those good stones to keep around. You know, it's, it's great for all of that. It's great for going ahead and getting rid of those negative vibrations. Um, if you, and this goes for pretty much every single stone that I've ever heard of. Um, if you're trying to sit there and cleanse your stones, I would highly, highly, highly recommend putting them in the moonlight. Um, some people go ahead and put them in water while they're in the moonlight. That's perfectly acceptable and fine. Um, if when, when it comes to drying them off, however, you're going to want to be very careful about drying them off because some stones, like, as you can see this stone right here, this stone is very, as you can see, as I'm dropping it all over the place, um, it's kind of delicate. So there's actually little chips here and there now, um, kind of on my keyboard and stuff. But anyways, I'll clean that up in a bit, but, um, it's delicate and so it chips and it breaks very easily. And so when it comes to certain stones, you don't want to go ahead and sit there and throw them around like you just saw me dropping that one. Um, but thankfully it's not from a really big height. Uh, so anyways, but the reason why is because these stones, they do carry properties. Um, quartz crystal is actually used in a lot of energy conduit stuffs. And so when it comes to using it, you definitely are, on the money when it comes to using this stone for a lot of different reasons. Um, so as we can see, I'm going on and on and on about this one stone. So there's also another one that I recommend and that is smoky quartz. And this is actually the only piece of smoky quartz I have. The other piece I currently, well, I had for the longest time, I ended up giving it to a friend. Um, she didn't have any smoky quartz and she didn't have any clear quartz. And so clear quartz is a really, really great stone. It's great for the home. It's great for harmonizing things. Um, it's great for relaxing and reconnecting. It's also great for your, uh, re your regaining of your composure. Um, when it comes to the house and stuff, it's great for that sort of, um, uh, thing going on. It's great for grounding. It's perfect for when it comes to negative emotions and whatnot, because it absorbs them. Um, and the same with the clear quartz, it absorbs them. So whatever, whatever you're trying to do, this is one of those ones that is good to have around. It definitely is. Um, and it's, it's got some healing properties and benefits of its own. Um, there, I, sorry, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet because I know that there's other stones that I have so many more things to do on. Um, this stone is also really good at securing and promoting security and, uh, promoting, um, your own stability. Okay. Your own, uh, home and whatnot, your own home stability and your own home welfare. So that's one of the other reasons why it's a really good stone. Um, it's, it's just, this stone is amazing and it, it's comes in raw, it comes in, uh, polished and whatnot. Um, it's just, the stone is an amazing stone to have around. It's one of those stones that I keep out a lot. Um, I don't have as many as I wish I did. I truly wish I had more. Um, because like I said, it's, it's just an amazing, amazing stone. Um, I ha I, I also recommend using and having rose quartz around because rose quartz is good for the heart chakra. Um, as you can see, I've, I've got these two pieces right here and they're, they're barely pink. You can just barely make out the pink. Um, and the lighting is terrible. I'll be the first to admit that. Um, but the thing is, is that these are good for, for ensuring self love. Okay. And self love is really, really, really important and they're good at attracting love. Okay. So the thing about quartz and particularly rose quartz is that if you are having problems with your self esteem, if you're having problems with your own self worth, your own, um, things going on internally, these ones are ones that you want to have. You know what I mean? Um, you can wear them in a bracelet. You can wear them in a ring. You can wear them in a necklace. You can wear them. I know people who will just carry them if you're a female in your bra. Um, I know other males who will just go ahead and sew little tiny pieces inside of their, um, their undershirts, you know, and nobody's the wiser, you know? So, I mean, there's, there's just different ways that you can go about carrying it. Um, I personally carry a piece in my, my, uh, purse, um, 
And so I'm not, I'm, I'm actually not going to grab it out. There's a few pieces of, of stones and I've got citrine and I've got, uh, rose quartz and quartz and smoky quartz and, um, amethyst all in my purse. And those are some of the stones that I always recommend, uh, having. I'm probably actually going to do citrine in this video too, because it's an amazing, amazing stone. So, uh, anyways, so the thing is, is that this stone is supposed to be good for the heart chakra. I'm not sure if that's true. Again, if you know anything about the chakras, let me know down in the comments below, because I'm still learning about the chakra area. Um, I'm not, it's, it's not something that I've actually studied yet. It's something that I'm working on. Um, this stone is also great at releasing any sort of pain and trauma a person has had. Um, the thing is, is that it also attracts that those positive healing energies. Okay. So it's definitely one of those stones that you want to keep around and carry and have around in your stone collection. Okay. Um, the other stone that I highly, highly, highly recommend having is amethyst. So this is a nice little chunk of, uh, raw amethyst and this was given to me and I absolutely adore it. I love the energy that comes from it. I love how it feels. I, I absolutely adore it. Um, this is one of those stones that everybody's just like, well, that's, that's somebody's birth stone. It's going to be really expensive. It's actually not. Um, like I said, all the stones that I'm mentioning in this video are relatively inexpensive and relatively easy to find. Um, <clears throat> this stone is really, really, really good for healing. It's also good for helping and promoting psychic dreams, um, or psychic abilities. Sorry. It also induces dreams. It can induce psychic dreams or prophetic dreams. Um, it's very, 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 very good with healing of the, um, the, uh, physical ailments. It's, the thing is, is that this stone, it's got a lot of beautiful, beautiful properties and I highly, highly, highly recommend keeping it. Um, the thing is, is that it, it enhances your, your psychic abilities and it enhances your, your abilities and dreams and it aids in your dreams. And it also helps keep people calm. You know what I mean? So being able to stay calm and, and having something that's actually going to be that healing energy that doesn't look strange to have around purple is one of my favorite colors. If you can't tell with like all the purple stuff that I wear and do and whatnot. Um, but it comes in many colors, many shapes, many sizes. Uh, here's one that is, uh, cut up and, and polished and whatnot. Can't really see it. Like, sorry, it's bad view. Um, anyways, and then here's some that are really, 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 really dark. Like these ones are almost like you would think that they are black, like, and they look black holding them up to the camera. They really, really do, but they're not, they're just really dark, dark, dark purple. And like when I hold them up to the light, I can see through them and I can see that they're dark purple. And these are raw pieces. They have not been cut by machine. Um, well they have, but they haven't been polished or anything like that. And they haven't been, uh, through the ringer. So, I mean, I absolutely adore my amethyst. Um, it's really, really, really good for environmental issues too. It's good for energy healing. Um, the thing is, is that these, like I said, all of these stones, they all have amazing, amazing, amazing properties. Um, and so I don't think that it's, it's a bad idea to keep them in your collection. I think that it's a really, really, really good idea to keep them in your collection. So I'm going to go ahead and end it at that. The side note and what I wanted to give you guys as a bonus. So the thing about stones is everybody's just like, how do you attune yourself to a stone? So what I've always done is I've always held my stones in my hands. I do this one at a time. I hold them. I, I just, I feel their energy. I, I feel it. I get used to it. I don't have anything else going on. Um, I open myself up to it. And when I'm finally able to go ahead and do that, I, there's certain stones that are good at releasing negative energy, like uh smoky quartz, for instance, that one's really, really good at doing that. Um, like I said, regulars, uh, clear quartz is great at a conduit. It's great at going ahead and 
amplifying what your needs are and what you're trying to accomplish. It's all in the intent behind what you're trying to do and focus on. So please keep that in mind. So when it comes to doing that, just go ahead and, and open yourself up. I would recommend doing it one-on-one -on -one with one stone at a time. Stones do interact with each other. They are just like human beings. They have their own energies. They have their own orbs and their own vibes. And so I would highly, highly, highly recommend doing it. Like I said, one at a time, let yourself open up. Breathe in and breathe out. Focus on the stone. It'll be okay. You got this. So, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely something that you'll understand as soon as you start, uh, holding it and just breathing in and out and feeling its energy. I can't really fully explain it. It's, it's definitely a personal thing for me. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys need any more descriptions. I will try my best to go ahead and explain it. Um, so like I said, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to be trying to link all of my social medias up in the descriptions below. Um, I'm on Twitter and I'm on Reddit and... Facebook and, um, Instagram and yeah, I'm Patreon. I'm all over the board. Um, so on Patreon, there's different content that I post that I don't post anywhere else. Um, there's also different content that I post on different, uh, sites like Tumblr. I post different content that I don't post anywhere else. Same with Twitter, same with Facebook. So uh, there's different content on different sites. Um, go check them out. I would highly recommend it. So I'm going to end it at that. Um, I will talk to everybody later. I hope that everybody has a great day. I hope that you guys all learned something today. I hope that if you guys do have any questions, you let me know down in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Blessed be. Bye for now.